All right, guys, we are back. So as you can see, um, I went ahead and switched out our members. You know, I brought back Elliot and Sarah into the party. And before we start, I do got to let you know, it's going to be very brief. Uh, so pretty much it kind of happened again. Um, basically, this is the next day. So yesterday, the first part was actually, what was it, Tuesday? No, not Tuesday, I'm sorry, uh, Thursday. And today is actually Friday. So yeah, Dem Basically, I had a couple of technical issues. Uh, you can blame that on Mother Nature, so to say, because we had a nasty storm uh, right after I recorded the first part. So I had no choice but to stop recording because uh, the power is going all wonky and stuff like that. But other than that, though, we are back, so that's good to go. Uh, I also decided to go ahead and take a quick trip back to Ymir just to heal everyone up. Uh, you know, the cheap way, save us money on healing CP and stuff like that. Um, other than that, though, I think... What happened yesterday? I totally forgot now. Oh, right. We completed the two trial chests for, um, well, who was it? Elisa, Machias, Milliam, and I think it was Laura. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. Um, especially, um, Laura and Milliam. That was like, what? One under one minute. And then Elisa and Machias took a bit of time, but we actually did pretty well, surprisingly. Not gonna lie. But anyway, uh, we did get those new ornaments. So before we move on, I just want to double check. So we got two of them. Crystal Flood R. Uh, so we gained plus 12 uh, arts and 30 plus art defense and spirit breaker 2 so attacks and crafts cause art defense negative 25 you have a 25 percent chance and you get plus 15 strength and i believe who had that no not you was it was it her no seriu domination it was someone in our party but i totally forgot who had it actually probably probably no one has it equipped anyway it might have been milliam or maybe lore before. But anyway, that's not a big deal right now. But actually, for Elliot, I'll be quite honest. I know Grim, Grim Butterfly is a good attack for him. But because I have Water Belt, I feel like I should take off Grim Butterfly and give him that new um, course that we just gained. Which was um, Crystal Flood R. Especially at how much it does in terms of boost. So, like, right here, Hydro Can R gives you 9 plus and plus 20. But Crystal Flood gives you a little bit more in terms of stats. So... I think that's what I'm going to do for Elliot. So I'm going to give him Crystal Flood R instead. Instead of Nightmare. Nightmare is a good move though. Don't get me wrong. But if I had if I had to pick, I definitely would just stick with a Crystal Flood. Just because water is his better element. Um, and it doesn't really make sense. Especially when you're considering the uh, casting time. And with the addition of um, Water Bell. So, I don't know. That's just my opinion. But at least now he has another uh, water type attack. You know, instead of just Aqua Bleed. And, um, I'll, I'll admit, I do miss having the, uh, what was it called? Where'd it go? <laughs> dark Matter. Yeah, Dark Matter. I miss having that. Okay, but enough of that. Enough wasting time. Uh, like I said, we healed up everybody. Um, and we are good to go with the f final shrine boss. Whatever it is. It could be another Magic Knight. Because even though Emma said, oh, it's the strongest one in the previous shrine, you never know. There could be a stronger version of it again. But, um, also, I think... That's right, I did one battle before uh, starting the session because, you know, I think it was Elliot, Emma, and Sarah that were ready to level up. And then I just, they were very close, so I might as well, I just did one fight and they gained a new level each. That's pretty much it, just to let you guys know. Alright, so, without further ado, guys, this is it, the final shrine. So let's go ahead and see what we're up against. And I already saved, so don't worry. So here we go. Oh, and sorry, sorry again. Uh, before moving on, I do want to say, um, normally because this is the next day, I would have done an extra part. But because we only did one part yesterday, and I didn't get a chance to do any more, we're just going to stick to the normal three for today. So, sorry about that. I know, I will definitely do more, but I'm also under time constraint for today in particular. So, uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. But anyway, let's do this. What Magic Knight are we fighting? If it's a Magic Knight, I don't know. <clears throat> well, here we are. There it is, our fourth crystal of Zumerian ore. All that remains is to overcome the final trial, and it will be ours. Okay. Alright, what is it? Oh, okay, same one, huh? And here it comes. Um, uh-oh, hold on. This feels like, what, what's happening? Whoa. Huh. 
Huh. Oh, um. Well, that was anticlimactic. Okay, Reen. What the? Did it just vanish? No, this was the work of. <laughs> Oops, you caught me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, great. Is she is she the one we're up supposed there. to fight? Oh, sorry. All right, up there. Oh, great. It's the bird. Let me guess another uh Grianos. Oh, okay. Yeah, the bird. So that was your doing, Vita? I mean, thanks for the help, but I'm assuming we're going to have to fight her, I guess. <laughs> There's no need to be so wary of me. Right. I merely did what you were planning to do anyway, didn't I? I just did you a favor. Sure you did, because clearly there's nothing <laughs> that you want in return. A likely story. You can't seriously expect us to believe that. Yeah. Last time you tried to do us a favor, you abducted Elise and Princess Alfin. That's true. We, I still remember that. <laughs> <sighs> oh, woe is me. I don't seem to be very popular here. Yeah, you were much better on the radio show. Just putting it out there. What really brought you here? How did you even know this place existed? Even I didn't until Celine told me. Unlike you, I'm a fully-fledged witch, in the truest sense of the word. As such, I know everything. Wow, real emphasis on that, too. <laughs> Far more than a trainee like you could even begin to imagine. Ugh. Well, that was rude. Huh. Sounds like you've long known all there is to know about this place. Clearly. More than you and the Elder do, in fact. Oh, I know! Why don't I take this opportunity to enlighten you on a fun little something? No. No thank you. That being the true purpose of the Hexen Clan to which we belong. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought she meant like a boss fight or something. <laughs> Even though we will fight one, but anyway. Alright, so what's she gonna reveal? What is this light? Th this is... Something's flowing into my head. Uh-oh. Let me guess. Flashback or memories? Alright, some plot. So this is what a crystal of that ancient magical ore looks like. The light from it is so beautiful, it's almost divine. Alright, girl. <laughs> Overcome the trial to find what you seek. The witch was right, it seems. This should grant us the strength to suppress or suppress, sorry, that great calamity. Indeed, the final battle draws near. Ever since I first met that grant great knight, my fate was sealed. I will abide by it, but will you accompany me? <laughs> you needn't even ask, your highness. I will be by your side until the day the goddess calls me to hers. Interesting. I wonder who those two were. Oh, I have a hunch who the guy is, but the girl we don't know what yet. Did I just see? Oh, okay. Another one of someone's memories? Whatever it was, I witnessed it as well. Ah, so as you remember, Reen was the only one who saw those past memories, but now it seems like everyone saw it too this time. And I presume that blonde-haired woman in it must be... That shouldn't have been possible. Just what did you do for us to see that? Think of it as a special treat from me. Ordinarily, only the Ashen Awakener would have been able to see it, but I allowed the rest of you to see it too. Aha. Uh -huh. As for what it is... It's a glimpse of the truth regarding what really happened during the War of the Lions. 
The truth? And that really was a memory from... Draco's the Lionheart, yes. Aha. Okay then. And the woman with him was the Lance Maiden, Leanne Sandlot. Ah, okay. During the war, they too had to borrow the strength of a Divine Knight. Oh, okay then. That's new. And they were drawn into a conflict between fragments of the Great Power. Just like Reen and Crow during this war. Wait, there's no way the War of the Lions involved Divine Knight battles. Um, I don't really buy that because you never know what happened behind the scenes. Because obviously, things could have happened that's not recorded in history. So, that makes sense. At least to me. If that had been the case, surely the world would know of it. Actually, I have heard mention of that from Grandmother. Wait, doesn't that mean... Oh, has the truth finally dawned on you? The fragments of the Great Power are destined to be drawn to one another, forced to collide over and over and over. These dark times Erebonia is going through have repeated themselves since time immemorial. And every time, the truth of what happened disappears from the memories of all. That is how this system works. That's... pretty messed up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. System? Hold on a moment. I can't... I can't follow what you're saying. It's not that really hard to understand, so basically every time there's a war, um, at least if this is what I'm just, you know, speculating here, so every time the end of the Great War happens, everyone's memories just, you know, disappears on it, and no one truly remembers what happens after each conflict, I think. I could be wrong, but uh, that, again, I'm just speculating here, but anyway. Oh, don't feel bad if you're having trouble wrapping your head around it. That's perfectly normal. After all, that's just how this world is. Uh-huh. Wait, you aren't suggesting the clan's true purpose is... Aha! Uh -huh. Did you finally realize the fundamental role we witches play? We shoulder the responsibility of operating and managing part of that giant system. <laughs> Not that I would expect an apprentice and her familiar to know anything Thing about that. Okay. Uh. The Elder knows, of course, but she chose not to share the knowledge with you, likely fearing it would be a burden. But how pitiful is it to have lived for the sake of fulfilling your duty as a witch without knowing what that duty really is? That's harsh. I almost feel sorry for you. I... You're awful! How can you say something like that to someone you're meant to think of like a sister? <laughs> I heard you were a sadist, but I wasn't expecting you to be this cruel. Don't look away, Emma. There's no need to be afraid of accepting the truth. Reen? Oh? I know what it's like to be afraid of accepting new revelations about who I am or about my past. I feel like once I know, life will never be the same again. That's true. I mean, you do have your, like, weird Devil May Cry powers, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's true, but there's one thing that I can believe in beyond a shadow of a doubt. That my classmates and all the people who've stood by me through everything that we've been through will keep standing by me to the very end and accept me for who I am no matter what. Yeah, you tell them. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Nothing you can learn about yourself would cancel out all the time we've spent together. Hold your head up high, Emma. There's nothing in this world that could stop us from proudly standing at your side until the bitter end. I... I don't know what to say. 
Vita. Thanks to you, I finally noticed the change in my own feelings. All right. Change? I enrolled at Thor's to fulfill my duty as a witch. I won't deny that. Nor will I deny that until that point, I effectively lived to carry out that duty, obeying all I was taught without question. But that's the past. Now, I feel very different. Now, I want to live a life of my own, together with the classmates I've been fortunate enough to meet. Nice. I'm no longer the person I used to be. Uh. Emma! Woo! You go, Emma! <laughs> nice. That's the class president we know. We all feel the same way, too. <laughs> I'm impressed. You've matured a lot more than I was expecting during your time at the Academy. Avita? Uh-oh. But let's put that to the test, shall we? And the ominous music kicks in. Great. I haven't had the opportunity to train you in some time. So this is as good a chance as any. I don't like where this is going. To see what you're capable of now. Oh my god, her eyes! Seriously, that's creeping me out! Shit! Seriously, did you guys see that? Her eyes look like- Dead, my sweet little bird. Uh-oh. Behold, your master's foes. Bear your fangs and raise your talons. Alright, this is creeping me out, no joke. Uh, uh, um, uh, Grayanos, are you okay? Oh dear. Did he just make it? Oh my god! Azure Guardian, Grayanos Aura. Holy shit! Oh my god, she like fed it like a hundred rare candies or something. God damn. Steroids much. It grew? What did she do to it? It's called Savant Vols. It allows a witch to pour an incredible amount of mana into their familiar. Yeah, clearly! Oh my god! I'd imagine she's given it more power than even a cryptid possesses. Uh... I guess so. God damn! <laughs> well then, Emma. Let's see what you're capable of. Oh good! <laughs> This is our trial, I guess. A real trial. Show me if you have the strength to back up your words. Please, everyone, lend me your power. I mean, it's not like we have a choice. <laughs> we would anyway. You've got it. All right, let's do it, Rain, and everyone else. Leave it to us. Bring it on, giant chicken. Worthy adversary. Okay. Oh, Emma's in the party. It's funny because we had Elliot in. My turn. Okay. Uh, first things first. Let's actually switch it up. There we go. Link up with the proper person. Um, you know what? Before I make any move, actually, now would be the perfect time to split the part. I, I mean, because it's a short part right now. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do that. That way, we have a full time to actually take on this boss. So this part's gonna be a lot shorter than usual, but it's okay because we're gonna have the full time to take on this giant chicken. So give me one second here, guys, and then we will be right back.